Joaquim El Chapo Guzman, the uh, drug lord, has been arrested. This according to the president of Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, just announcing it moments ago. He's been on the run now for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh, arguably uh, one of the most, if not the most wanted man, certainly in North America right now, uh, El Chapo. Once again, in the hands of police, uh, Tom Fuentes is still with us, the former FBI assistant director, our CNN law enforcement analyst. Uh, it was, I assumed it was always a, a matter of time before they got him, but they got him apparently alive, which is sort of surprising at least, but, uh, but you know more about this than I do. Well, I'm sure they wanted to get him alive, but the interesting thing now was that the last time he was recaptured after an escape, the United States said extradite him here to the U.S. There are a number of charges uh, in the U.S. pending against him. Extradition requests was, are in and pending against him. And Mexico said, oh, no problem. We're going to put him in our most secure jail. He'll never escape. We don't need your help. Let's see what they say now that he's been recaptured. Mexico says the same thing. I'm sure the U.S. is going to make a strong pitch. Also, what we'll be interested in learning is, was it U.S. intelligence, like last time, that helped lead to his capture? So does Mexico owe the United States intelligence and law enforcement community uh, gratitude for helping get him back into custody?